today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. That's how you block. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that one. Keep working on that boxing damage. That's what I need. Let's go. 30 on the clock. Combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Here we go. That's how we do it. All right, let's see what you got today. Speed and power, that's it. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Speed, timing, reaction, that's the goal today. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Beautiful combination. Keep it up, put the pressure on it. Focus, okay? You've got 30 seconds. Wrestling. DC's world of pain. You gotta embrace the grind to be a top wrestler. And believe me, we're gonna grind today. Here we go. 
There we go. Hey, he can't get in on you. Nice, nice. Really great job today. That's it. That's the way you put him on his back. Come on, keep going. Thirty seconds. I'm talking about. Keep it up. Now that was wrestling 101. Let's focus on submissions today. I want you to work for that superior position and bait your opponent into a trap. Let's go. Nice work, lock him down. Great job in there. Your timing is really on point. Yes, 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 getting close to the finish now. Yes. Nice work. Lock him down. Come on, 30 seconds left. Yes, nice, nice, stay focused. Stay focused. Don't lose the submission. Hey, claim that position. That's what I like to see. You kept working for position, and you got it. Nice work. Listen for my instructions, all right? Let's go! Your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Man, your 
next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Come on, 30 seconds left. Nice, nice. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk. And Cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen.
our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 35 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it, now what does he do with the top of the floor? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Massive head kick. Oh, big left. Wow, what a kick, huge kick lands. Look at how fast. Working on a guillotine. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. the win tonight here by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right so there's the horn at the end of the round multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes and you know what john even more importantly look at the opponent now he's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times getting taken down is one thing but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brian All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Perfect block. Really impressed with your performance today. Great job. Good job. Good job. Damaged him, right? Power. I love it. 
Let's go. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. That punch damaged him. Yes. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Good, clean, crisp punches. Right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. That's it. That's the way. All right. Time for something else. Let's go. Let's go in there and get after it. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Beautiful, beautiful. Seconds. Give me all you got. <laughs> that was nice.
All right, let's get on the map and roll. Let's keep moving until I say stop. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Let's push the pace on. Just like that! Just like that! seconds. Let's go. Nice work. Lock him down. Saw some nice submission skills today. and heavy punches. You ready? Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Next opponent is going to be no match for you. You got 30. Let's go. Listen, you fight like that, you're going to dominate. Guaranteed. That's how we do it. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Oh, wow. Wow, yes. That punch damaged him. Yes. Let's go. Oh, big punch, big punch. I love it, I love it. That'll leave a bruise. Come on. Nice. 
I love it. Doing great. Next one. Thirty seconds. Let's go. today. Keep it simple on the mats. I want to see good technique while you work for that takedown. <laughs> yes, that's the way you put him on his back. Come on. Ha, that's on point. Work with the takedown. He's got nothing against your takedowns. All right, that was good. Definitely making some progress. Nice timing. I like it. You got 20 seconds. There we go. Nice hustle. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk. And Cracking a smile, he's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills 
to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with the same height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, introducing the challenger, Sergei Pavlovich. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 36 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it So here we go, number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Oh, big punch win. Just out of range with that right hook. attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh! Oh! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Go. 
Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Oh! Massive kick to the body lands flush. Just out of range with the big right hand. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champ of the world.
All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Nice box. Yes, nice box. Now, just keep building up that damage. Let me see that. Let's go. talking about that punch damaged him right power I love it let's go ooh huge punch that was huge that must have hurt I like that more of that okay let's go 30 on the clock Big punch, what a bruise, what a bruise. You know, we could have done a little bit better, but we could have done worse too. Okay, come on now. Let's get in there and get after it today. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Job. Your kicks look so easy. Anytime you see it, just throw it. Take him down and get on top. All right? There we go. Hey, he can't get in on you. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Nice, nice. Let's see another.
something with it. Let's go. 30 on the clock. My clock doesn't stop until you submit it. Let's go. Yeah, I like that pass. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Let's go, let's go. We gotta make something happen. Come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. Now try to lock it up. Don't stop now, you got 30 seconds. There it is, that's it, that's it. Lock it, lock it. Finish it now, there it is, there it is. That's the name of the game. Position. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Big punch. What a bruise. What a bruise. That's it. Good work. Train to win the belt. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. That punch damaged him. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. All right, that was good. 
definitely making some progress. I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Huge! <laughs> yes, that's the way you put him on his back. Come on. Like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. Yes, move just like that. Good job in there. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. There you go, let's transition. There we go, good hustle there. Okay, on the mat. Let's do some rolling. All we want to do is get into that dominant position. From there, look for the submission. Come on, you have to stop him from moving. Ooh, that was pretty good. Good job, yeah, good job, good job, yes, it's almost locked, it's almost locked. Your next opponent is not gonna be able to keep up with you. Yes, yes, position before submission. Don't stop now, 30 on the clock. Good job, yes, submission is close. Hey, submission is close, keep pushing. Nice work. Lock him down. Saw some nice submission skills today. Really like what I saw.
All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, they have the same height, but big differences in reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 241 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing the challenger, Mad Intention. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 37 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bob All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. Versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Nice kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And now he lands a combination! Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh! Head kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh! Whiff. So kick home, and now his opponent in a full attack. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he tried, and now he's got him hurt bad. Going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Nice one, two there. Missed with that right hand. Go get him. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is called to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result here tonight.
Okay, I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. some sweet science. Okay, time to work. Let's go. Right on target. Really impressed with your performance today. Great job. Come on now, do something with it. Well done! You got 30, let's go! Throw it from anywhere.
Take him down and get on top. All right? Okay, okay, great work with the takedown. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. We're here to work. Let's go. There it is. Push. Push now. Nice drive there. Yes. And 30 to go. Set it up. Yo, that was good. Strong takedown. Love the way you attacked those legs and got on top. My clock doesn't stop until you submit him. Let's go. Ooh, that was pretty good. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. You got to work here. Stay focused, yes. Don't lose the submission. Let's push the pace on. You got 30, let's go. Nice work, lock him down. Yes, good job. Start to lock that submission. All right, kid. Nice roll today. Now, listen to my call outs.
drill, drill, drill. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. 30 to go. Show me. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. Great job in there. I can already see. Listen for my instructions, all right? Let's go. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. job today. You really crushed it out there. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds.
All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 245 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the great. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, only a professional record of 38 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting. Out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar! All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go, number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and push. Whoa! Diving punch lands. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to 
to the feet. Big kick land. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Just over three minutes to go on our first round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? And try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And into that leg kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Over and over, he landed with big body kick. Big leg kick land. Seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big kick land. Able to check the high kick. Round two next. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice kick. What a takedown. Gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Back to the feet now. Huge connection right there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. I mean, the hand speed just a sure. Oh, well, that diving punch landed. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Straight right hand now just misses. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Sauce referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself oh! in the Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. 
flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliot is going to stop this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.